Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video, I am trying the least popular fast food for 24 hours. So I just did most popular and then one of you were like, hey, can you do a least popular? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? So today that is what I am doing. I am actually starting off this video at dinner time because I always film on Sundays and Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays and I really wanted to come here for one of the stops. So I figured instead of doing breakfast to breakfast, I would do dinner to dinner. So first stop is Chick-fil-A because their least popular menu item is their grilled chicken wrap. So I can't pull up to read off what's inside of it because it is a dead zone here and I should have like screenshot it beforehand but I forgot so I will pop that up on the screen and then their potato chips are their least popular which totally makes sense because who would order potato chips over french fries um okay I'm not hating on you if you do that but their fries are just, of course, more popular. And then it said that their lemonade frosted drinks are their least popular drinks. And the cherry berry drink just came out. So I figured I would make that into a frosted lemonade so I could one, try something new and two, get what was least popular. Okay, sorry if the lighting gets like a little like wonky. Um, it's just that time of the day where no matter which way I park, it just <laughs> doesn't really want to cooperate. Uh, so it looks best this way, but sometimes I have like a glare on my face. So we're just kind of have to roll with it. <laughs> I'm hoping some clouds roll in soon, but this is their wrap. Honestly, it looks pretty good, but man, I really want a crispy chicken sandwich right about now. He asked me what sauce I wanted with this and I had no idea, but he said that the avocado lime ranch is what people get with it. So I said, okay. I have tried the avocado lime ranch before with their Southwest salad. I used to get that all the time because I loved it. And I thought I was being healthy by ordering that over a crispy chicken sandwich. And then I learned that that is like the worst thing on the menu. And I'm like, crap, <laughs> might as well just get a crispy chicken sandwich then. But even this wrap is over 600 calories, which is like double what their chicken sandwiches are, which is so wild to me. But that might be with this included. I'm not sure. That would make sense though if it is. But okay, so let's take a bite. Mm. Okay, this actually kind of reminds me of that salad. Well, I'm not sure if it's because of the ranch or not. Mm. Okay, so the way I feel about this wrap is like it tastes good, but it also tastes healthy. And I'm all for it when something's healthy and tastes healthy, but like it's not healthy. So I don't really want to eat something that's like not healthy, <laughs> but it tastes healthy. Does that make sense? If I'm going to eat something that's 600 calories, I want to indulge. <laughs> okay, I'd probably give the wrap like a 6 out of 10. It tastes good, but it just really is nothing special more expensive and it's worse for you than a crispy chicken sandwich deluxe and if I'm going to Chick-fil-A I would much rather get that okay this is the cherry berry frosted lemonade mm. 
Mm. Honestly, I don't know why these are not popular. Except I do feel like maybe it's just because nobody really knows about them. I never did. I think I found out that they can do like a frosted lemonade like not really that long ago. So I feel like it's least popular because nobody knows about it. Not least popular because it's not that good. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about the cherry berry. But as a frosted lemonade, it is delicious. This is a very difficult flavor to explain but I do really like it as a frosted lemonade it is kind of expensive it adds almost three dollars to your your order but if you've been wanting to try it I would definitely say try it at least once see if you like it I'd probably give it like an eight or nine out of ten I really enjoy it I feel like it's like a strawberry milkshake with like a lemonade aftertaste. I don't know if that sounds like horrible or not to you, but it is good. Okay. Waffle potato chips. It kind of tastes like ruffles. They're very crunchy. They're definitely not unpopular because they're bad. Because these are actually really good. I think they're just unpopular because, like, you go to fast food and you get a sandwich and fries, not, like, a sandwich and chips. I think these are good. If you ever come here and you're not in the mood for fries, give them a shot. It's the perfect amount of saltiness, too. So, like... <laughs> The chips and then this drink are actually like, I just <laughs> spun this around like I'm spinning around the drink. Um, the chips with this are really good because you have like the sweet and then the salty. You guys know I love sweet and salty. Okay, so I think I'm going to give dinner like an 8 out of 10 because the wrap is good. It's really nothing special. So I do see why that is the least popular menu item, but the frosted lemonade is delicious. I'm sure every single one of their flavors frosted is good. So go try them. And then the chips are honestly like a nine out of 10. Like they are very good plain potato chips. I like that they're waffles to like keep the theme of the waffle, waffle fries, waffle chips. They're perfectly salted and they're really nice and crunchy. So I think that they're really great to add to your meal if you're not in the mood for fries. But I do see why they're not popular because I would never come to Chick-fil-A and order chips over fries. So I do get that. But all in all, I'd say everything was pretty good. So hopefully tomorrow I have a lot of good food ahead of me. So I will see you guys in the morning for breakfast. Okay, it is the morning and I am at Duncan for breakfast. It says their least popular menu items are a sugared donut, a veggie egg white omelet breakfast sandwich, and a blueberry iced coffee. So I tried to get the sugar donut and they said they didn't have it. And then I tried to get it in a munchkin form and they also didn't have it. So I asked her what was something that was really unpopular. And she said their apple crisp donut. So don't quote me on if that's actually unpopular or not, but I did get that to try. It's probably delicious. And then I got the blueberry iced coffee, which I've actually like always wanted to try it because it just sounds so weird. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Um, Okay, so, wait a second. This isn't the breakfast sandwich. Oh no. 
She gave me the egg bites. <laughs> okay, well now this stop is kind of a fail because I couldn't get the sugar donuts and I didn't get the sandwich. <laughs> well, we're gonna try all this anyway. <laughs> I'm sure the rest of today will go a little bit better. Okay, well, I don't know if these are popular or not, but they do look kind of good. Um, it's like what Starbucks has, except there's a hole in the middle, like they're donuts. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Mm. They're not as good as Starbucks, though. Well, according to Reddit, these are repulsive. <laughs> So maybe they are just as unpopular as a sandwich. Let's try this donut. I really don't know how unpopular this donut is. It might just be not popular here, but it is their apple, their apple donut, apple crisp. I'm a fan of all things apples, so I think this is delicious. Mm -hmm. you have the apple pie filling in the center i might have to get this more often the last thing we have for breakfast is a blueberry iced coffee this is the only thing out of everything that wasn't kind of a fail because i don't know how unpopular the apple crisp donuts are and the egg bites aren't what i asked for so i don't know how unpopular those are either um but this one is for sure their most unpopular drink. This is like weird tasting. Um, I don't really think that blueberry goes with iced coffee. That's probably why it's not popular. I think the blueberry would probably be delicious in an iced tea. But... The flavor of the blueberry with the flavor of the coffee just don't really totally mesh. It's like, it's just weird. Okay, well that is it for breakfast. I'd give that donut a 10 out of 10. The egg bites, probably like a six out of 10 and that iced coffee, like a two out of 10. It is just very, very odd. Blueberry and coffee don't really mix unless you're eating a blueberry pie with like a coffee for dessert but i will see you guys for lunch hopefully we have a little bit better of success it is lunchtime and i am at mcdonald's so i'm sure you can already guess what their most unpopular item is but if you aren't sure it is the filet fish <laughs> so i did try this once um it was one of my first ever videos i tried it and i didn't totally hate it this is what it looks like and then there is a ton of tartar sauce on it, which is good because that'll like mask the flavor of the fish. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm like scared to take a bite because I tried it and it was like not horrible, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, like, it's really not that bad. Um, I'm not a fish person either. But I feel like the fish patty really doesn't have much flavor. We mainly taste the cheese and the tartar sauce. And the tartar sauce kind of tastes good. <laughs> If I'm going to go to McDonald's, I'm definitely ordering like a quarter pounder deluxe or some chicken nuggets or a McChicken or something like that um, and not a filet fish <laughs> But for the sake of this video, it's really not that bad. Also, I feel like the people that get it are like diehard filet fish fans.
I like the cheese on it too. Oh, do you guys like my bracelet? When I was leaving, there was these cute little girls outside their house in my neighborhood. And they were selling bracelets that they made. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever. So I'm like, I pulled over and I'm like digging through my wallet and I only had big bills. And it was $2 for a bracelet. So I'm like counting the change in my car <laughs> trying to get to $2. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. And then I asked them, I said, which one is your favorite? And whichever one is your favorite is the one that I'll get. And then they said this one because it's big. And I thought it was so cute. So you're going to see me wear this all the time in my videos now because I think it's adorable. <laughs> I told Orlando when we have little kids that I really want to make like a lemonade stand um, or like a stand in general out of like wood for them and we can paint it and make it like all super cute because I'm going to have a garden one day and then they can sell like lemonade out of it or like garden vegetables or maybe even bracelets who knows. <laughs> For a fish sandwich, it's really not that bad. So I'd probably give it like a six out of 10. It's definitely not something that I would go and order or like crave or anything like that. But if you do like fish, probably like it. So yeah, I mean, it's not awful. It's not great. So six out of 10. It is dinner time and I'm at Jersey Mike's. But before I get started with dinner, um, I'm like the most sensitive person ever, but someone that I've known for a really long time is really struggling right now um she has a husband and three kids and their house is about to be foreclosed on my house went into foreclosure when I was a kid so I know what they're going through and they are the kindest people ever and it just really <laughs> hurts my heart that they're struggling so much if I could afford it to write them the check for the amount of money that they need to no longer be struggling I would do it in a heartbeat but unfortunately I can't so I'm going to link her GoFundMe um in the description of this video if you guys have even you know a dollar to spare it would mean so much to not only me but to her and her family this world is a horrible place and the people that you know don't deserve it always end up you know getting the bad end of things and I just know the power of social media and I'm just really hoping that you know we can raise enough money for her to be able to stay in her home she basically has one week she has until April 22nd so I'm probably going to mention it in every video and till then I would have mentioned it in breakfast but um I needed her permission first because I wasn't gonna you know put out something so personal on social media if she wasn't okay with it but yeah so I'm probably gonna make a TikTok as well about it or like clip this video and add it to a TikTok. So I'm really hoping that together, you know, we can raise the amount of money that they need. Because they have three kids and getting your house foreclosed on as a kid and being in that position is just like the worst thing ever. So I don't want them to lose their home. So if you guys could help, it would mean so much. And if you can't help like financially, if you could just share this video um, and maybe somebody else could help and you know, we can get that out there. I would just really appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah it's linked in the description if you could please check it out and share it or any way that you can help i would really appreciate it i'm at jersey mike's for dinner and their most unpopular menu item is their tuna sandwich which i guess makes sense i didn't even realize i did fish twice but tuna and a fish fillet i feel like are a little bit different um it is expensive though i just got the mini because i didn't really want all that of it because i didn't know if i was gonna like it or not um this thing was eight dollars i could get like a whole cheesesteak for eight dollars okay so i didn't get anything on it they asked me what i wanted on it but i don't really even know what you put on like a tuna sandwich other than lettuce and tomato and i don't like lettuce and tomato with my tuna fish Normally, I just scoop it out of the bowl with some crackers, <laughs> but um, 
I don't know. Let's give it a bite. Hmm. I actually think this is really good. <laughs> Yeah, I really like it. Um, I don't know why this is unpopular. I mean, probably because I feel like tuna fish really isn't like that popular to begin with. Especially if you're going to some place. Like, I feel like a cold sub with like deli meat is more popular or like a cheesesteak or something like that. Or maybe because it's so expensive or something so simple I also don't like celery at all and there is celery in here but I don't mind it maybe because the bread is like chewy you don't really get the texture of the celery I don't know I think it's good definitely better than a fish fillet better than the little omelet bites that I had for breakfast this morning Actually, I think this is the best thing, the best food that I got. Other than um, <laughs> Chick-fil-A's potato chips, those are actually really good. And the apple crisp donut, I guess. <laughs> Everything that was like junk food. <laughs> okay, so I would give the tuna fish like a 9 out of 10. It actually was a lot better than I was expecting it to be like it's pretty good tuna and I love Jersey Mike's rolls so I genuinely enjoyed it um I'm not gonna give it like a nine or a ten just because it's tuna so it's like not really anything crazy but it is good um so on that note I'm going to wrap this video up here I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you liked starting at dinner and ending at dinner better than doing like breakfast to breakfast or like if you want like a variety of that if you guys want a part two to this video because i did two popular item videos and this is like the only time i've tried the unpopular and i feel like a lot of food is actually like totally underrated um so yeah if you want me to go find some like hidden gems at places i would totally be down for that so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video please go check out the gofundme if you're able to i it would mean the absolute world to me um and i will see you guys in the next one bye this is the aftermath that you guys are <laughs> requesting to see oh uh, my car is not really that bad i mean i totally have some like crumbs on my feet and well I guess I have a lot of crumbs. There's my Red Bull because I'm a Red Bull addict. Um, all my bags that I've kept so I can make my thumbnail. Uh, wipes to wipe down sauces and all the crumbs. Um, an air freshener because my car smells like food. <laughs> my purse. And then a thing to make TikToks. My cardigan because it was cold earlier. But um, yeah there's my car <laughs> that is my mess of a car i will show you guys in the next video what it looks like i can't guarantee i'll clean it beforehand i'm a dirty little hamster <laughs> it's actually really embarrassing i'm just like <laughs> exposing myself but um yeah i will show you guys from now on the aftermath since you guys want to see it but uh yeah i'll see you guys soon bye